Zainab Otiti Obno, known as Urola, the second official ex-wife of Oni, has um, reached out to Oni, begging him to let Queen Naomi go. Hello everyone. Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, thanks for coming around to view my videos. I really appreciate every one of you. May God bless you all abundantly. So guys, um, a source reached out that um, Urola sent a message. Yeah begging only of Ife to let Queen Naomi and um, her family have peace. Yes. And guys, um, from what the person narrated to me, that um, Urola have been, you know, begging only of Ife to stop his uh, palace media team blackmailing Queen Naomi and um, her family. That enough is enough of um, the fake stories and false information that has been labeled on Queen Naomi and her family. And that if Oni of Ife doesn't caution um, his palace um, media team that she is ready to tell the whole world the truth of who Oni of Ife is. Because the embarrassment and dragging of the innocent young lady is too much, which is um, Queen Naomi. Yeah. So guys... Uh, Queen um, Hurola has, uh, you know, come out to fight on behalf of Queen Naomi. Yes, because um, she also was in that palace and she knows what she passed through in that palace when she was still there. And that is why when she saw when she saw all what has been flying everywhere, what has been, been said about Queen Naomi, you know, she has no choice because, you know, looking at Queen um. Murala, she's someone that has so much, you know, um, sympathy. Yes, she's someone, in fact, she's a woman with heart of gold, guys. Believe me, someone who could actually, you know, wish Oni of Ife well when Queen Naomi, um, when Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi got married. Someone who can boldly, you know, wish Oni of Ife well, like putting it in a right, you know, that everyone saw it. You know the kind of mind this kind of, this, this, Hurola has guys this kind of lady has yeah and this point in time guys she came out that enough is enough that the dragging about Queen Naomi and the embarrassment and the fake stories are just getting out of hand that she knows all these things this was exactly what they did to her when um she left the palace many stories everywhere and these things are being done by still um the people in the palace there that the story is always coming from there generating stories that she was um having an extramarital affairs that was why she left the palace that she could not give birth and all, a lot of stories that was um you know circulated everywhere that she knows in fact that according to the the source what she she narrated to me that you know Murala said that she knows the pains of you know seeing her name flying everywhere with fake stories that is very common in, in in our society where when woman is done or say she's no longer interested in a marriage any longer because of whatever reasons that she's passing through that she doesn't want to endure any longer then stories will begin to surface from nowhere that you know society has always made it a way that they will body shame a woman when she says she's no longer going to endure subjection then you know blames will always go to the woman no minding if the man is you know um at fault here or not that is that everything always you know have a way of falling back at the woman at the end of the day and that is why she has come out to fight for queen naomi this time around that only of ife has to be very careful that they shouldn't push her to the wall that the whole of all this thing is getting out of hand that she can, you know, okay, imagine her, she is not having a child for Oni of Ife, but she knows the kind of stories that was put on out there, you know, to tarnish her image, just because she said she's done and she's not ready to be subjected into the kind of whatever lifestyle that is there in the palace. And stories begin to fly that she cannot even give birth. And all manner of stories that was put out there, you know, just to tarnish her image because... She said she's done with Oni of Ife, that she doesn't want the marriage any longer. And guys, um, this is exactly, you know, what is happening to Queen Naomi now. Yes, the same fate, the same kind of 
dragging embarrassment false stories and all that that um Rola went through the same thing is happening to Queen Naomi the only difference uh, here is that Rola is not having a child for Oni of Ife while Queen Naomi has a child for Oni so it's in fact making the whole dragging eh, more serious and more um more serious and how do I even put it it's making the whole thing you know look as if it's a war talk of war whereby stories are being told that Oni wants to take a custody of of the 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 child um Queen Naomi has for him I mean where is it being done how will Oni even you know think of something like that after the whole stress of the IVF of 18 and all manner of stress Queen Naomi went through then he still has the mind dragging Queen Naomi up and down because Queen Naomi left the palace. I don't even know what to even believe any longer, guys. Because, you know, I don't understand. Queen Naomi is supposed to be, you know, well pampered by Oni of Ife. I mean, there are other women in the palace. Oni of Ife is just there. These women are not putting anything or not giving birth for Oni of Ife. These women are not contributing anything for Oni of Ife. They are just there. For how long? You, you just carry women around yourself. These women are not having children for you. These women, are, I, haven't, I don't even know what to say. Queen Ashley that has been there for, for how many years? How come Ashley ha don't have a child for you? Other, these are uh, Ayabas that they said uh, they are everywhere in the palace. How come these women, they don't have any child for you? Queen Naomi that just came, even when they said that she made a fake prophecy and all that. Which I know all those ones are just normal stories that you know that is flying. After all, she clarified her name and uh, that she said she's the one that um she's going to have a child. But even if she said something like that, it still came to pass. Yes, the story uh still came to pass. And instead of you to hold her very well, you know, pamper her, nurture her very well, so that she can have other kids for you. Yes, since other women are not having children for you. And Queen Naomi is uh, no, being productive here. She should have those kids for you. Instead of um, bringing other women. And you're not even sure if those women will even have a um, child for you and all that. I mean, I don't even understand what is going on here. Well, I, I'm not here to advise the king. Please, for those who will misquote me. I'm only here, you know, I'm trying to express myself. That is just it. Because from the story, um, this um, a sabot, you know, said about Oni of Ife, man, guys, I will tell you people that I'm even confused. Like, I couldn't imagine hearing all those things. Like seriously, hmm. Well, me oh, I'm only here campaigning for Queen Naomi. Like I used to say, Queen Naomi, let her just not even think of going back to that palace because if she mistakenly carry herself return back to that palace they are going to do so much deal with her very well yes now rola has come out to you know assist queen naomi her own aim is for only to stop rubbishing um queen naomi that is her aim of um you know coming out to tell only of if um only of if um, um palace um, media team to stop rubbishing her name that is getting out of hand that she knows what it is because she passed through the same stress or she passed through the same um uh, the same thing that is her own concern here and that is why i'm making this video so i am not the one to advise the king the king um knows what um he wants if it's all these uh, women that you know he's packing up and down to get money from them and all that that he wants fine so be it everyone will have um have his or her own choice of whatever um she wants or he wants so this is not my concern i'm here because of queen naomi and that is why i'm making this video so guys this is what queen um um Urala has come out to you know um beg only of if to let queen naomi be to let her family be yes and guys I, I, when i hear this story i said okay let me share it with you guys yes so you know guys um another thing again is that people has been dragging queen naomi like people saying things like uh why is she not um why didn't she see that um 
um oh no if it's not a good person she she says she's a prophetess how come she didn't see all these things before going to the palace okay i'm here to answer you people right i'm here now to answer you people the answer is this for those who said um uh, she's supposed to see that oh no if is not um good and she says she's a prophetess it is only what god wants you to see that is what you see being a prophetess or being a prophet doesn't mean you see everything. That particular one, God wants you to see. You will see it. Yes, I have answered you, right? Then again, people saying, Queen Naomi, uh, she should return back to the palace. The question is, is the king ready to change? It's not about Queen Naomi return back to the palace, return back to the palace. Queen Naomi return, if Queen Naomi return back to the palace is, and something eventually happened to her, what are people going to what are you people going to still say about her at the end of the day they will say eh it's her longer truth that took her back to the palace just the way that if queen naomi would have stayed in the palace and one day she she you know um god forbid anything happens to her then you begin to hear stories like eh, it is a uh, out of greediness it is because she's selfish that is why she, when she's passing through all those stress uh, she decides to remain there in the palace uh, because she's enjoying the king's money. That is why she's there. Now, Queen Naomi has carried her two left leg and leave the palace. People are still wanting her to go back. And go back. Carry your son and go back because the son is supposed to be in the palace. Let me tell you people, if Queen Naomi is not around today, God forbid anything happened to her, that child will still survive. So it's better for her to leave the palace and still survive with her child than being in the palace without surviving it. So that is that, guys. So the thing is, let the, the, the king change. The king, is he ready to change? It's not about Queen Naomi returning back to the palace. And the ill treatment is just too much. The ill treatment on Queen Naomi is just too much. I, I mean it, guys. You know, marriage that you are, you say you're married to a king. But you're not enjoying any dividend. So these two people, they have been deceiving us. That is how it, what it is. These two people have been deceiving us, showing us fake, fake things. That is why my people, they keep telling us, so stop believing what you see in the, in the social media or, you know, all this media stuff, all this thing. Because, you know, the way the whole thing happened, you could imagine Queen Naomi every time laughing, Anytime they are in occasion, you will see Queen Naomi whispering to Oni's ear. You know those kind, all those kind of sweet, sweet, romantic, romantic thing. You will be seeing them, you know, always doing it to each other and all that. Ah, I share my people. No, be better. Uh, this thing be that. Say not fake. They just they fake all those things they give us. When they come out for for media, web photo photo pictures, where they will take them pictures, they will you know video them and all that. They will come and show us all those parts. When they are inside the house, the real part of them begin to surface. You know, guys, which is not good. So it's better for her to quietly carry her two left leg, go away. Now, if we are telling her to go back, is it now that the king is bringing other women? That means they're going to intimidate her finish now. When this one's way get money like this, don't come stay in the palace. Then people are asking her to go back to the palace. So that they will begin to insult her that she came with her family to come and carry the bank that was built inside the palace. And in fact, their family, they are very, in fact, they are very, uh, very poor that they cannot even afford to eat and everything. So for me, even if there is still anything like marriage between Oni of Ife and the Queen Naomi, let Queen Naomi not even near that palace. If she wants to still do any marriage with Oni, let her be doing it outside the palace, outside the palace, let them... Let her not live anywhere close to the palace. If at all, oh, she wants to do anything like marriage again with Oni of Ife. If not, then eh, hmm. there's no mercy. They're not going to mercy her this time around. Though, from what this story, like especially this story that um, a Sabod has told everyone of what has happened and everything. Anything that will make Naomi near that palace, she's, she's on her own. Oh. She's on her own. So don't blame her. Me, I have been saying it. I know Queen Naomi will not return back to that palace. Right from the beginning, I've been seeing it. Because all they beg, the way they beg this woman to go back, she no agree. Because she know the kind of stress she passed through when she was there. She know the kind of stress she went through when she was in that palace. And guys, 
I think this my video is getting longer. I don't used to do video up to this long before. But believe me, guys, when I keep saying, you know, the way it is for me, I I will not live here today. So, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, I think I I will be dropping this video here. So put down your comment. What do you think about this um um Rurela's, um decision of you know fighting for Queen Naomi? What do you think about that? Put it down in the comment section below. And please, uh, if you haven't like, like and share my video, please guys, like and share my video. Thank you so much for watching and remain blessed. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.